This recording gives an example of using the newton raphson method. More generally, this method gives a numerical solution to an equation of form f of x equals zero, where we start with an initial guess, x naught, for the solution of the above equation. We can then find x1 using the following formula and then continue on iteratively. So at each successive approximation, we use the one before. And if you're interested in more background to where this formula comes from, you might want to look at our maths cast on background to the newton raphson method. But for now, let's see how this works in, when applied in practice to a specific example. In particular, let's use the newton raphson method to find an approximation of the positive solution of x squared equals 2, correct to four decimal places. So the first step is we need to rewrite this in the form f of x equals 0. How will we do that? Well, let's rearrange the equation x squared equals 2 so that we have 0 on the right-hand side. And we could do this by subtracting 2 from both sides in this case, giving us x squared minus 2 equals 0. And that means we would then let our f of x equal x squared minus 2. And just a note, if we had rearranged it as 2 minus x squared equals 0, that would also have worked. Now, let's think about our formula for the newton raphson method. The formula was xn plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn divided by f dashed xn. Now we've seen in this example f of x is x squared minus 2, but clearly we also need to find the first derivative of that. In this case, the first derivative, f dashed x, is just going to be 2x. So at this stage it's often helpful to then apply our particular f of x and f dashed x to this formula, which in this case means our formula will become xn plus 1, equals xn minus xn squared minus 2 divided by 2xn in this case. So if we're going to apply the newton raphson method to solving x squared minus 2 equals 0, the next thing we need to do is work out our initial guess, x naught. And that will be our initial estimate of the solution. And a number of methods can be used to find this. One thing you might do is consider drawing a graph of f of x equals x squared minus 2, for instance. And this is a quadratic function. It's actually a parabola which has been shifted down two units vertically off the origin. So it would have a vertex there at minus 2, and the graph would have this sort of general shape. So if we're looking for the positive solution of x squared equals 2, we're actually after this x-intercept of this graph. What else could we determine? Now f of 1, if you actually put x equals 1 into f of x, that's 1 squared minus 2, which gives us a value of minus 1 while f of 2 is equal to 2 squared minus 2, which gives a value of 2. So you'll notice at x equals 1, the value of f of x is down here, at minus 1, but by the time we get to x equals 2, the graph has actually crossed the x-axis and is giving a value of 2. So this is a very approximate sketch, but it gives us the idea that the actual solution we want is somewhere between x equals 1 and x equals 2. Therefore, it might be useful to let x naught be 1 or 2. So let's try x naught equals 1 in this case, for instance, and apply the newton raphson method using this value of x naught. So here's our initial approximation, x naught equals 1. And above that, I've rewritten the general formula 
we're using in this case when applying newton raphson method. So x1 then, that's like x0 plus 1. So it's going to be x0, that is the previous approximation, minus x0 squared minus 2 divided by 2x0. So here everywhere xn plus 1 is replaced with x1, which in fact is just on the left hand side of this, and xn is replaced with x0. We now simply substitute x0 in, which is 1 in this case, so that x1 equals 1 minus 1 squared minus 2 divided by 2 times 1. And make sure you're careful here, that minus sign affects everything on the numerator here. So you might even want to put a bracket around there to make sure you don't make any careless errors. What happens then? 1 stays there, this becomes 1 minus negative 1 divided by 2. So 1 minus negative a half, which is just 1 plus a half. So therefore x1 is equal to 1.5. So we would expect this to be closer to the solution of x squared minus 2 equals 0 than our initial guess of 1. We now substitute this value for x1 into our formula to find x2. So x2 is going to be x1 minus x1 squared minus 2 divided by 2x1, meaning x2 will be 1.5 minus 1.5 squared minus 2 divided by 2 times 1.5. That becomes 1.5 minus, and this part here actually becomes 0 0.25 divided by 3. Now you'll notice here, you could keep writing it exactly as a fraction, but more likely you'd start using decimal places. We're wanting our final answer to be correct to four decimal places. So it's important with this calculation to be using a greater degree of accuracy. Let's suppose for instance we write our answers correct to eight decimal places until we find a suitable approximation. In that case x2 actually becomes 1.4166667 which you can verify. So looking at our solution so far, you'll notice that x2 is closer to x1 than x1 was to x0. That's actually a good sign that we've chosen a reasonable starting approximation. If all goes well, we should find that these solutions start to be more and more similar as we go along with successive approximations. Let's continue on with x3 and see what happens. Now x3 that's going to be the previous one, x2 that we just worked out, minus x2 squared minus 2 divided by 2 times x2. So I'll leave you to substitute in 1.4166667 into this. You should end up with x3 equals 1.4142 1569 if we're staying correct to 8 decimal places for the moment. Similarly, if you substitute that value in to work out x4, you should find x4 equals 1.4142.1356. So have a look at those approximations now. They're becoming very similar indeed. And what you'll notice with x3 and x4, how many decimal places are the same there before we get a different value if we're looking at the values to the left of the decimal point. You'll see in fact that x3 and x4 both have the first five decimal places the same. That is, they both have 1.41421. That's actually telling us that these values are part of the correct approximate solution. That is, these first five numbers are a reliable approximation. And if we kept on going, we would find fairly soon that the next three numbers would also become the same. 
and we continue on like this getting a more and more accurate approximation until we have it correct to the required number of decimal places. But we can now be confident that the solution to x squared minus 2 equals 0 correct to four decimal places is 1.4142. So that is correct to at least four DPL or four decimal places. Just a couple of things to finish up out of general interest. First of all here you could see successive approximations became more and more similar as we went along. But sometimes if you pick a bad starting solution in particular you might find successive approximations very wildly. And if that is the case, if they do not start to settle down and converge to a particular solution, it means you have chosen a poor starting solution. And then you need to choose a different value for x naught. The other thing to think about, I'm just leaving our approximations there, is if we think about the equation we've been looking at, x squared minus 2 equals 0. If we rearrange that algebraically, that is x squared equals 2, giving x equals plus or minus the square root of 2. Here we were looking at the positive solution of that. So the newton raphson method is one way of working out in this particular example an approximation to the calculation of the square root of 2. And if we continued on, we'd get a better and better approximation for the value of the square root of 2. So you could use a similar thing to work out the square root of any number by solving x squared minus the number you're wanting to find the square root of equal to 0 and then applying the newton raphson method. But newton raphson is also useful for a large range of equations including those where calculation of a solution of an exact nature is not possible.